In this session, I will provide an introduction of debt and how Fusion is creating this important financial instrument on blockchain through its innovative lens of time-based transactions. Let's start with a brief introduction and example of debt. When people think of measures of the financial market, they often think first of equity markets. At $78 trillion of market value, not including derivatives, it's indeed a large source of capital. However, many people overlook a bigger driver of economic growth. Debt, such as bonds or loans. With a combined size of over $247 trillion, again not including derivatives, it is three times the size of the equity market, and is accessed by companies, countries, and certainly individuals. As Fusion's goal is to enable financial transactions in the digital economy, supporting debt is one of our top priorities. Before introducing Fusion's model of debt, I will start with an example. Debt comes in many flavors of payment styles, seniority, and maturity dates. We'll start with one of the simplest, a fixed coupon, that is interest, with fixed maturity date bond. Let's follow this exchange between Jill and Jane, who are great friends. Jill borrows $5 from Jane to buy some bananas, and promises to pay back in five days. Assuming Jill is a woman of her word, Jane gets back $5 in five days. Let's say Jill continuously forgets to pay Jane back on time. After the tenth time, Jane, who is now a less great friend of Jill, agrees to lend Jill $5, but only if Jill pays $0.25 cents every day. Jill agrees and gets her bananas. After day one, Jill pays Jane $0.25. Cents. This process continues for day two, day three, day four, and finally on day five, Jill pays $0.25 cents interest in the original loan amount of $5. At the end, Jane has been paid $6.25 for lending Jill $5 for 5 days. This series of cash flow in exchange represents a fixed coupon with fixed maturity date bond. The interest is $0.25 cents per day. The maturity is 5 days. Now that we understand debt, I will explain how Fusion models this instrument. First, let's introduce two tokens a debt token, and a cash token. The debt token is the marker that lets a lender claim her right to borrow money. The cash token represents the working cash, or capital, that is actually borrowed and paid back in the end. Let's model the exchanges between Jill and Jane using these two tokens. In our first example where there is no interest, Jill gives $5 of debt token to Jane, in return for $5 of cash token from Jane. This exchange is represented as a quantum swap of $5 debt token for $5 cash token on day one. After five days, Jane shows up with $5 of debt token, and Jill must honor her debt and give back the $5 of cash token. This exchange is another quantum swap of $5 debt token for $5 of cash token. So a loan can be fully modeled with just two quantum swaps. The issuance swap, and the payment swap on the day the loan is initiated. But we have left out one critical item. How can we prevent Jane collecting from Jill before five days, the agreed repayment date? Certainly, Jill can refuse to pay until the fifth day as per their agreement. Or we could make the payment quantum swap only after five days has elapsed. But a better way is to actually time lock the debt token which we will set from 5 days, which is the maturity of the loan, until forever. Instead of Jill sending a straight debt token in the issuance swap, Jill will send a debt token time lock to Jane. The payment swap will be the same as before. Jill receives debt token without the time lock and pays out to Jane. Thus, after 5 days, the time lock on debt token winds down, or matures, and Jane holds a full debt token. Jane can then exchange this debt token in return for a cash token. What are the advantages of this approach? As before, the debt token is tradable in a secondary market, but people who buy this token now know exactly when cash will be repaid without having to reference other smart contracts. More importantly, the time lock debt token can be combined with other identical time lock debt tokens, and the payment quantum swap can be paid out with any non time locked 
debt token. This combination has tremendous positive implications for the creation of more advanced financial instruments, which we will explore in subsequent sessions. Let's follow the exchange between Jill and Jane through the lens of Fusion's quantum swap and debt token. Upon loan initiation and sending of sending straight debt token to Jane, Jill sends the time lock debt token. In return, Jane sends Jill the $5 cash token. This is the execution of the issuance swap. After five days, the time lock debt token matures, and Jane now holds a full debt token. Jane can then send her debt token to Jill, who pays back the $5 cash token through execution of the payment quantum swap. At this point, we have successfully modeled the loan dynamics in Fusion with quantum swaps and time locks. Now let's move to the second example where Jill is charged an interest of 25 cents per day. The concepts we apply here will be the same as the example without interest. We just have to account for each of the interest payments as combinations of quantum swaps and time locks for the respective periods in addition to the original amount borrowed. As per before, we start with creating time lock debt tokens. We create $5 a time lock debt token from 5 days to infinity, representing the original $5 lent. But now, we also create $0.25 cents a time lock debt token from day 1 to forever, representing the first day's interest. Likewise, for each day's interest payment of $0.25, cents, we create a time lock debt token for that day and amount, resulting in a total of $6.25 of time lock debt tokens. For the issuance quantum swap, each of the time lock debt tokens must be sent to Jill in return for the $5 cash token from Jane. So, Jill sends $5 a debt token time lock from 5 days to forever, and all the subsequent $0.25 cent time lock debt tokens representing the interest. In return, Jill receives $5 a cash token from Jane. To emphasize, Upon loan initiation, Jill sends a collection of time lot debt tokens totaling $6.25. In return, Jane sends Jill the $5 of cash token. For the payment quantum swap, the ratio of debt token without time lock received in exchange for cash token will be 1 to 1. In this manner, Jane receives $6.25 for the $5 she lent with the extra $1.25 representing the interest earned. Let's follow the exchange between Jill and Jane through the lens of Fusion's quantum swap and debt token. On loan initiation, Jill sends $6.25 worth of time lock debt tokens to Jane in return for $5 a cash token. This is the execution of the issuance quantum swap. After one day, the time lock debt token of the first interest payment of $0.25 matures, and Jane now holds $0.25 cents a full debt token. Jane sends her $0.25 cents debt token to Jill, who pays back the $0.25 cents of cash token. After day two, the time lock debt token of the second interest payment of $0.25 cent matures, and Jane sends her $0.25 cents of debt token to Jill, who pays back the $0.25 cents of cash token. This process repeats for day 3, day 4, and day 5. Note that on day 5, the original loan amount of $5 and the interest due on the fifth day of $0.25 cents are both repaid. At this point, the loan has been paid in full, and we have recreated the mechanics of a fixed coupon, fixed maturity loan, using nothing but quantum swaps and time locks. This framework puts in place a foundation where individual cash flows can be traded and combined with like instruments, important benefits which we will explain in subsequent sessions.